hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel um i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are enjoying the videos because you know i've been posting consistently like i said i would um but anyways today's video was requested by someone in the comment section of one of my other videos so yeah if you guys have like any suggestions like any videos that you'd like to see drop it down in the comment section i definitely do see the comments and i as you can see i'm not making a video about it um, but anyways, today's topic is about NBTs. Um, so this is for, this is part of the university application series and people that will be applying to uni and you know, you've heard the term NBTs somewhere, somewhere, but like you also don't know what it is and you're confused and you're like, does it actually matter? Um, so yeah, I'm going to be telling you guys, um, everything that you need to know about NBTs. Firstly, what are the NBTs? Um, NBT stands for National Benchmarking Tests. Essentially what they are are like standardized tests that everyone in South Africa writes, um, everyone that wants to apply to university in South Africa writes. And it's just like one test that like tests everybody to see the standard, I guess, that everybody's performing at. Something similar to the SATs, like in the US, how they have the SATs. Yeah, that's South Africa's versions, South Africa's versions, the NBTs. Um, so essentially they consist of two tests, right? The first one is the MAT and the second is the AQL. So MAT is the maths one. This is for maths core students specifically. And then AQL is English and like everybody writes them. So um, how you know like which one to write is like if you check the university prospectus, they'll tell you either you have need to write the AQL or the MAT or you write both of them. If you're a maths lit student, you won't write the MAT because it's a maths core paper. Um, so yeah, how does it work? You sign up. So you go into the NBT's website, right? And you're like, NBT, I don't know, www.what.what, and then you're like, okay, cool, NBT's. And then they'll give you like a calendar with a bunch of dates and like you choose the day that you want to write and there's different venues to write. Um, so yeah, you do all of that stuff on the NBT's website and then you pay. I can't remember how much the fee is. It's less than 250, I think, or maybe it is 250, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, you pay and then that's all. Then they send you an email with like all the details that you need and not what, 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 what. Um, so essentially the MAT is multiple, both of them are multiple choice actually, yes. Both tests are multiple. Let me start with the AQL, which is the English one. So this is what happens. So there's different sections. I'm trying to remember. So like there's different sections. There's like the comprehension section. Um, and what they do, I think it's timed. That's what I remember. It's timed. And like you guys do, everyone does question one together. They're like, okay, hey, cool. Question one. And I think they read you like the thingies and like you answer. Then okay, cool. Done with question one. Time for question two. And like it's timed, each question is timed. So it's very like, I know you guys see multiple choice and you're like, no man, that's easy. Hey. <laughs> the English is a lot easier than the maths. I won't like, okay, let me not say it's easier because I found it easier. Let me just say I found the easy, uh, English easier than the maths. Then with regards to the maths, yo guys, hey, you, uh, you will literally get 5% for that paper if you don't know your work. I'm not even joking. And the content covered in the maths paper is grade 11 work and matric work, which is your matric final paper because that's what you get tested on. Grade 11 work, uh, matric work. But it's not like how, you know, even if you're good at maths, you really can fail the maths paper because it's not like how the maths papers are set out where it's like, okay, cool, there's algebra, there's this, there's that. Imagine... You know, at the end of every exam, there's like that last question, which is the hard question, like only the smart kids get it. And even some of the smart kids don't get it. Yeah, that's the whole NBT thing <laughs> for maths. Um, but yeah, basically how I went about it is the elimination method, because there's no other way to go about it. Because if you like you, it's also multiple choice. It's also timed. So like you don't have all the time in the world to be there trying to work out one more dot and it's a long paper. So that your best bet is elimination, elimination, elimination. Um, and then after that, you know, uh, sorry, I just got a message because I keep doing that. I must turn my notifications off because like I'll be speaking and then I'll forget what I'm saying. Um, but anyways, elimination method um, and how to prepare. So I took a course called 
um, what was it called? Advantage Learn. Right, look it up. It is very expensive. I'm not going to lie. I took, I think it was like 3,000 total or like 3,700 and something in total. Um, so they, like it has like two workshops and like you attend the workshop. It really did help. I'm not going to lie. Um, simply because MPTs is more, not really like a thing of how smart you are, but like I guess the thinking and that's like what they were teaching us during the workshop and like how to approach different kinds of Christians. Um, geometry, they were giving us like tips and like, hey, these are like the common things that they do there by geometry, this, 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 this. Um, so yeah, definitely have a look at if you're interested in writing in BTs. There's not much more for me to tell you guys about it. Just look up Advantage Learn and um, yeah, it will help um they're not past papers so indoor past papers is not going to help you <laughs> i guess just know your basics like every single section just know the basics of every single section because that's i guess what's taught so like geometry you know know the different dot 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 this 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 can happen you know euclidean geometry know everything that you need to know um and definitely study for the test. Don't fool yourself in thinking, no, it's fine, it's just multiple choice, what, 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 because it's not just multiple choice. Study for it. Um, prepare yourself like best you can. And then when you do get to the exam, relax, realize that like not the you stressing before is not going to get you higher marks in fact it's probably going to get you lower marks because now you're making silly mistakes and because it's multiple choice you can't afford to make silly mistakes because it's either you get it right or wrong there's no like in between where it's like ah marks for working ah this it's either it's right or it's wrong anyways that's all i have for you um guys for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video it's a very short one i think it's probably no this is not the shortest video i've made i'm lying um but anyways it was nice seeing you guys again bye